Hello, good morning friends. Today we will do some of the questions that are given in your first chapter. And you already know the name of the first chapter is the fish tail. And in this chapter, the name itself is telling about the story or about the content it has. The fish tail means the stories related with fish as well as the fishermans and how they earn their livelihood by catching the fish. Fishermen, you can understand, they use different types of boats. They use boats that are made up of log of woods. Now, if a boat is made up of simple uh, logs of wood tied together and if the sea is rough when high tides and a strong wind is there, then these fishermen have a very difficult time. So let's take the first question related with the log boats. That is in your page number 6 of your NCRT. You will go to in your NCRT page. Here you will get this question. Okay. Now let's read the question. What the question is telling about. It is telling that log boats used by fishermen travel about 4 km in 1 hour. How long will they take to go a distance of 10 km? Now here, first part, have you understood what they are asking about? They are asking about that if the log boat in 1 hour can go 4 km, in how much time will it travel 10 km? So let's go for the solution and understand how we can make this question easily to be solved. And for you, you should take your notebook, any last year notebook and please go through the uh, lines and try to do it in your copy together with me. Then it will be better for you to understand more. In one hour, the boat travels 4 km. That is already given in the question in 4 km in 1 hour. Now in 2 hours the boat will travel how much? If in 1 hour it is 4 km then in 2 hours it must travel 4 into 8. That is eight, 4 into 2 that is 8 km. Now this much is done. Now as in the question it is asking about 10 km. So still 2 km has to be calculated. So let's calculate for half hour. If one hour it travels four kilometer, obviously you can understand in half hour how much it will travel. It will travel four by two kilometer that is two kilometer. So eight kilometer and two kilometer when we add we get ten kilometer. And how much time it is being taken? That is two hours and half hours. So, in two and half hours, the boat will travel 8 plus 2 kilometer, that is 10 kilometer. And this question is the very first question in your NCRT textbook in page 6. So, please note it down in your copy, in your uh, previous copies, whichever copy have so much pages. Let's move to the next question. And next question is also based Oh, the part B they are asking about, guess how far you can go in 1 kilometer, sorry, uh, guess how far you can go in 1 hour if you walk fast. That is talking about your ability. If you walk fast, how much you can go in 1 hour. So, from my point of view, I think uh, I can travel 3 to 4 kilometer if I walk fast. Okay, let's go to the next question that is in your page 7 of NCRT. Let me show it if you have already downloaded it from the NCRT website. Uh, you will get there all books of all subject of all classes. So better you can download the book from the NCRT uh, website. Let me show you which question I am talking about. Uh, you will be getting the question in page number 7 here. Okay, this page. Now, let's start. 
okay now motor board this question is related about uh, motor board before that let me give you a good uh, um, brief uh, 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 brief uh, points on motor board then what is a motor board a motor board is also used by fishermen and uh, it is basically uh, the boat is using a boat motor in it so that it can move uh, faster and uh, these motor boards go further in sea than the log boats that the question we have done previously and these boats uh, can catch more fishes as they can travel faster and fishermen uh, have to earn their livelihood by using the nets sometimes by using uh, boats to go far away so let's take the question Motor boats travel faster at the speed of about 20 km in one hour. The question is how far would the motor boats go in there in three and half hours? Similarly, how much time will they take to go 85 km? Now, when the question is little bit lengthy, I always tell the students to read the question minimum two times so that it is very easy to understand what is being given in the question and what is being asked in the question motor boats travel faster at the speed of about 20 km in one hour how far would the motor boats go in three and a half hours next question how much time will they take to go 85 km let's go to the solution part and I hope I have been able to do it in a simple way so that everybody can understand. Distance travel by the motor boat in one hour is already given 20 km. Yes or no? You see here it travels 20 km in one hour. So my first line is the given. That is the statement in the question. Distance travel by the motor boat in one hour equal to 20 km. Now next, distance traveled by the motor boat in 3 hours, how much it will be? Because they are asking about 3 hours and a half hour. So first I calculated for 3 hours. So 3 hours is equal to 20 into 3, that is 60 kilometer. Now the remaining is the half hour. Now let's calculate the distance traveled by the boat in half hour. And that is how much? In 1 hour it is 20 so in half hour it will be 20 by 2 kilometer and that is 10 kilometer. Now you can now guess how much total distance it is covering in 3 and a half hours. So let's go to the direct last answer. So total distance traveled by motor boats in 3 and a half hours is equal to 60 kilometer and 10 kilometer that is 70 kilometer. From where 60 came and that is in 3 hours and the half hour so 60 plus 10 that is 70 kilometer is it clear i hope so last answer is like this now the part b was the question that how much time will they take to go 85 kilometer so let's do the answer also in the same way now we have 85 kilometer means we can break it as 80 kilometer plus 5 kilometer yes or no now go to the next line time taken to cover 20 kilometer is equal to one hour that is already given in the question and the next thing is time taken to cover one kilometer is equal to one by 20 hour because here they are asking about one kilometer so here the quantity has decreased Whenever there is a decrease in the quantity on your left side, what we do here is division. And if they are asking about the quantity which has increased, then we do multiplication. So, 1 kilometer is equal to 1 by 20 hour. The unitary method you must have learned in your previous classes. Now, the time taken to cover the distance 80 kilometer. 1 kilometer it is covering 1 by 20. So, 80 kilometer will be 1 by 20 into 80 or 80 by 20 hour or we can write 80 divided 20 hour and you know 80 divided 20 is equal to 4 hour. Let's take the part B part because we are able to find the 80 kilometer answer. Now the last 5 kilometer answer we have to find. 
so in this part let's take time taken to cover a distance 20 km is equal to 60 minute 1 hour you know 20 km is covered by 1 hour so 1 hour means 60 minute now time taken to cover 1 km is equal to 60 by 20 i already told when the quantity is decreasing you need to divide so 60 divided by 20 so 60 by 20 is equal to 3 minute now the time taken to cover the 5 kilometer that was remaining so 5 kilometer is equal to 3 into 5 minute that is 15 minutes so in around total so that is our 4 hour and 15 minutes so 4 hour and 15 minutes is required to cover 85 kilometer so students go through these all questions properly and solve it in your notebook copy okay thank you and stay safe stay home